Hello friends. Today we are going to read Lara the Yellow Ladybird. The authors are Catherine Holzhausen, Martha Evans and Nadine Creel. The illustrator is Catherine Holzhausen and the publisher is Book Dash. So what is a ladybird? A ladybird is a type of insect and it sounds like Lara is a ladybird and she is yellow. Let's see what is special about Lara. Lara, the ladybird, was a special bug. Here you can see this is Lara and she is sitting here on the stem of this flower and she is special. Let's see why. Unlike all her friends, she had bright yellow wings. So in this picture, you can see Lara's friends. They are also ladybirds but they are red in color with the black spots but Lara has bright yellow wings. Isn't that special? Everyone loved her yellow wings. You can see in this picture this is Lara's mother. She is a red ladybird and she is sending Lara off to school with her school bag and lunch bag. And Lara is ready to go with her yellow wings that everybody loved. Each morning, BB Butterfly said hello. And Manto Mantis always waved. So here you can see this is the butterfly, this is BB, and this is Manto Mantis. Mantis is another insect that has the four legs folded like somebody is praying. And this Mantis was happy to see Lara with her yellow wings, and so was BB Butterfly. Even Cesar, the sulky spider, was happy to see her. So here is Cesar and Cesar the spider is usually sulky. Sulking means if somebody is in a bad mood all the time, just sitting quietly, not talking to anybody, that's a sulky spider, but it sounds like Cesar, who is usually sulky, was happy to see Lara. At school, she played with lots of friends. So you can see here is Lara's school and all her friends, also ladybugs, they're all red in color and Lara is yellow and she played with all of them and she had fun. But Lara wanted to be like the other ladybirds. I wish I had red wings like you, Mama, she cried. So Lara is crying and she is thinking of all the red colored ladybirds and how she looks different and she's crying because she tells her mother, she calls her mama, she says, I wish I had red wings like you. So one day to cheer her up, Lara's mother painted her wings bright red. You can see that Lara's mom is 
painting her wings. She is painting her wings bright red to look like the other ladybirds. The next morning, nobody greeted Lara on her way to school. What happened here? Lara is going to school with her bag and her lunch bag. And you can see the spider and the butterfly, BB and the mantis. And nobody is saying hello to Lara. And when she got there, none of her friends said hello. So here she is at school and she's looking red like everybody else, but nobody is saying hello to her. Why, why do you think that happened? Let's see. Lara sat all alone. No one noticed her new red wings. So Lara is sitting here. She's feeling sad, she's crying. Nobody is with her. Nobody is playing with her or saying hello to her. Nobody has seen her new red wings and so she's sad. Until Miss Mia spotted her and said, you've painted your lovely yellow wings. So Miss Mia is Lara's teacher and she sees her sitting there. She saw her sitting there and she said, oh, it's Lara. How come you have painted your lovely yellow wings? Lara's classmates were shocked. Your wings are special, so unique. So rare. So her classmates are also saying the same thing that Miss Mia is saying. They have finally realized, oh, Miss Mia is talking to this ladybird. Who is this? Oh, it's Lara with red wings. You, and they tell her, your wings are special. They are unique. Unique meaning it's different. It's special and they're rare. What happened to your yellow wings? Why did you paint them? Lara, Miss Mia said, your yellow wings are what make you, you. Like Sifo's spot and Sally's legs. So Miss Mia tells Lara, Lara, your yellow wings are special and they are what make you the person you are. And so she gives her some other examples. There is this girl called Sifo and she has this one spot that is bigger than the other spots, but that makes Sifo special. And just like that, there is a girl called Sally who has extra long legs. And that makes Sally special. And similarly, she tells Lara, your yellow wings were, were what was special about you. They are what make you Lara and not the same as everybody else. Back home, Lara took a long bath and scrubbed until her golden wings gleamed. So Lara went straight home and she took a long bath and she was rubbing, scrubbing her, her wings until they gleamed, her golden wings. She calls them her golden wings. They are yellow in color and they were shining with all the cleaning. I'll never paint my wings again, she thought. Except maybe once or twice. So Lara is now 
she is determined that she is not going to ever paint her yellow wings again. She'll keep them yellow, except once or twice. What is she thinking? To try a bit of purple or something nice but not forever and just for fun. So in this picture, you can see that Lara has taken her yellow wings and she's painted things on it. She's painted a star, she's painted a rainbow, you know, just for fun, just to try something different, something nice, something pretty, but this is not forever. It's just one time here, one time there, and it's just for fun. And in this picture, you can see Lara is thinking, hmm, how would I look with purple color wings or green color wings? And here you can see Lara with her yellow wings and see how she looks different from all of these red color ladybirds. And she is happy now to be different, to be special. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are ladybird, a type of insect which usually has a shiny red and black body. Mantis, a type of insect that holds its front legs together like it is praying. Sulky, silent, in a bad mood for no good reason. To spot, to see someone. Unique, different from others, one of a kind. Rare, not commonly seen. To gleam, to shine. Try these questions. Why did Lara want red wings like everyone else? Can you write what is unique about you? You can also think of things like what you do or how you say something, not just how you look. Ask your friends what they think is unique about you and write it down. Is it the same as you thought? 